Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, in this video we are going to learn how to create test case in UiPath. So we need to use UiPath Studio Pro and in case if you are using UiPath Studio or Studio X then go to the settings then license and profile and select view or change profile. Then we need to select uh, UiPath Studio Pro from here. In this workflow, we take first name and last name as input and give uh, full name as output. And this is a very simple workflow. So right click on uh, a workflow YAML file and then select create test case over here this time we're not going to make a mock workflow rather than we are just going to directly test the original workflow over here and then you can change the name to test case one then go to the next not going to provide any additional data say create now we have uh, three things over here. The first one is given, second is when, and then. As this workflow need uh, two inputs, and output we, are, we need to store into some variable. So let me, let me create two variables. Okay. Control K and then first name enter value I will give as code and control K and last name enter value I will give at the enter I'm going to change the scope to the test case one and we need to create one more variable to store full name. Okay, now we are all set. Just going to map those variables over here. First name, then last name, now output full name, mapping pattern. Now in uh, then section, we need to verify the output as per our expectation and uh, actual value. For that case, we need to go to the packages and from here we need to install test, test package UiPath testing activities. Just install and save. From activities, we'll search verify. Over here we have these three different options. We are going to discuss all these three one by one. So let's take the first one. This one is the most simplest one. The, I wanted to check full name as our input is code and Adana. So we expect it as a code. Right there now. So this one is pretty simple. If I will select the verify expression with operator, then I have uh, some more functions over here, some more operators. And the most versatile to verify the data is verify control attribute. Here, what we can do is we can add some extra activity also over here. 
assuming it will open one website and we wanted to capture or validate the header of that website so using uh, get text activity we can capture capture those value and then we can compare it with our expected value so this this activity this verify control activity is one of the most uh, versatile for here i'm just going to use this simple verify expression so according to our input we have given the output also now let's run it go to the output and then you can see verification passed over here now let's uh, do one thing just change the value in order to fail this uh, test case we changed it and then now let's run it again this type should fail as per our input data it should fail and you can see it got failed over here so thank you for watching